Hi, wrestling fans. Thanks for clicking the Dreaded D. Rose report. Kevin Ash stated in a recent interview with WWE The Sun. .co.uk that uh, he's open to returning to TNA uh, due to two, uh, numerous benefits that the organization provides now, I guess. He says, I have a 15-year-old son, and at this point, son needs to, uh, a dad more than the world needs a wrestler, and the things that make TNA work for me is, first of all, I have more you know, friends that uh, over there in, TNA, in uh, WWE, but said, I made uh, friends since I came there, and Punk and I, uh, you know, get along well. Ziggler uh, get along well, and I got a chance to hang out with John Cena. But uh, my crew of guys are still in the business, and more TNA guys than any. Uh, he told Rob Nichols uh, in an interview with One Side Ring Podcast. Uh, it's uh, 50 miles from my house. I could drive over there. I don't have to get on a plane. I could put uh, my gear in the trunk, drop the convertible top, and be over there and do it. He says, all uh, it's easy to travel. Well, I was wondering what happened. Why did he take off? This. Bet me. Uh, anyway, he said he enjoyed it down there also. A lot of uh, you know younger guys, AJ, you know, the, the bunch. Of, so I'm not saying I wouldn't go back there, but if something uh, was for me there and they needed me, I'd go back and uh, do it. Right now, I'm starting to get bored. Uh, TNA wrestling uh, producer, Eric Bischoff, he reacted to Nash's comment via Twitter writing, here Kevin Nash is open to coming back to Impact. Lots of history with Kevin. Always great to work with him. Another Detroit guy on the team. We'll see. Uh, reports this week of former uh, WWE talent uh, Nelson Frazier, or let's call him Vizera or Big Daddy D, appearing at WrestleMania Access are incorrect, I guess, and advertised to appear at a wrestling tour during Georgetown uh, in Guyana on the 31st and April 1st. Other talent appearing on that card is going to be uh, Tim Howard, Predator, which is also named Sylvester Turkey, uh, Butterbean, Domino, Davari, Luke Gallo, Shad Gaspar, Paul London, Mike Knox, and Raven. Uh, don't hear much about Mike Knox anymore, do we? He's a big old sucker that's kind of disappeared. Uh, Bill Goldberg will also appear at the event in a non-wrestling capacity, I guess. Uh, Ted DiBiase, Rosie Mendez have been announced to appear at Walmart, uh, Miami Gardens, Florida, March 28th. Autograph signing is going to be open for the first 300 attendees. Wristband policies in effect. WWE Champion CM Punk, he joins forces with Sheamus for a tag team uh, match for the World Heavyweight title, uh, rather uh, against the World Heavyweight title champion. Daniel Bryant and The Miz on uh, SmackDown. Other bouts going to be airing for the broadcast taped in New York, Newark, New Jersey are Henry taking on Truth, AJ Styles taking on Brie Bella, Jack Swagger taking on Ryder, Big Show versus Kane, Brodus Clay taking on Heath, uh, Heath Slater. I mean, he's going to be on there. Well, we'll see. And Ziggler taking on the great Kali. And former WWE talent uh, Ray Gordy, or also known as Jesse or Slam Master J, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, he turns 33 years old Friday, and uh, he left the professional wrestling industry following his release from WWE in April and is now working as a police officer in Atlanta, Georgia. WWE wrestler Husky Harris, remember him? Well, I think he lost some weight, so he's not so husky. He's just a fat guy now, I guess. But anyway, he's got his uh, new name going. It's Levi Wyatt at a non-televised uh, Florida Championship Wrestling event on Thursday. His character was described as a, a person in attendance at the event as a religious zealot. Wearing a straw hat and Hawaiian shirt, he cut a heelish promo uh, before defeating fellow uh, developmental talent Gyro in a singles match. We forget about it. they change at the drop of a hat, you know, uh, where your heel or just forget about all that and go with what's going on. Wrestling Observer reports this week that Hes uh, Harris is uh, on the management's radar for a promotion to the main roster and would be uh, debuting a new character, not Husky. I don't know if it could be a religious zealot or what, but anyway, the remember when they did that with. Um, Oh, 
Vince got on a tear of uh, people protesting uh, X-rated stuff, and I don't know what all. Of anyway, Layla and her return to the in-ring competition in a non-televised role was down in Florida Championship Wrestling Thursday night alongside babyface Audrey Marie. They defeated Paige and Sophia Cortez. Sophia Cortez. The uh, final uh, WWE Women's Championship has been sidelined since May due to uh, tears of both anterior uh, Achilles and medical collateral ligament, which required surgery. She underwent rehabilitation in the meantime. Layla went through a lot of stuff there. No wonder she'd been gone for a while. WWEBigs.com says Hall of Famer Howard Finkel going to be appearing at Russell Reunion 8, taking place April 13th to the 15th at Double Tree Toronto Airport, Toronto, Ontario, Canada. And Hall of Famer Sunny, <clears throat> she posted a message on Facebook remembering the late Chris Candido, uh, who would uh, turn 40 years old on Wednesday. Uh, she wrote uh, that her former boyfriend and followed uh, with the following image, she says, I miss you, honey, XOXO. After several people uh, posted photos and messages remembered Candido on uh, her Facebook wall, she wrote, okay, enough sadness about CC. Let's move on to happier things. Heaven isn't too far away, closer to it every day. I don't like that. Uh, anyway, Candido died on uh, April 28, 2005 due to a blood clot, by the way, a complication from a leg surgery three days earlier. Uh, died about a day after um, TNA taping. Although WWE ha uh, has yet announced uh, who will be inducting the 2012 Hall of Famer inductees, strong sources within the in the organization thinks that the following is going to be taking place. Here we go with the whole list so far. Edge inducting Christian. Let me... Uh, Am I dyslexic or what here? Edge will be inducted by Christian. There. Four horsemen, Orrin Anderson, uh, Barry Windham, J.J. Dillon, Ric Flair, Tully Blanchard will be inducted by Dusty Rhodes. Mike Tyson will be inducted by Shawn Michaels and Triple H. Bill Mascara is going to be inducted by Alberto Del Rio. And Ron Simmons is going to be inducted by John Bradshaw Layfield. Yokozuna will be inducted by Jay Uzo. Jimmy Uzo and Rikishi. Jerry King Lawler is going to be hosting the event. That'd be, that's good. Uh, for, uh, the official tweet feed of WWE uh, reorg uh, recognized the Florida Champion Res uh, Championship Wrestling talent on Twitter Thursday night as they posted a list of those on microblogging sites. WWE typical don't acknowledge wrestlers uh, situated in developmental area, but they did this time. FCW talent on the side are uh, Antonio uh, Cerzo, uh, Audrey Marie, Big E, Langston, Bo Rotundo, Brian uh, Negan, uh, Kaylee Turner, Damian Sandow, Dean Ambrose, Husky Harris, Kenneth uh, Anderson, Leo Cougar, Mark Harris, Raquel Diaz, Seth Rollins, and Sophia Cortez, Summer Rae, and Xavier Woods, uh, which probably is just about everybody down there. And WWE posted this week's episode of WWE Superstars featuring Beth Phoenix and Eva against Natalia and um, Tamina in a tag team match. Epico versus Epico and Primo taking on Riley and Ryan in a non-title match. And Titus O'Neil taking on Yoshitatsu and Drew McIntyre versus Ezekiel Jackson. Ezekiel comes up short to McIntyre, which extends his losing streak to seven consecutive losses in TV matches. Former WWE Intercontinental Champion has yet to win a televised event in the year of 2012. Who did he make bad? It just gets me how he comes out as a monster. Everybody's excited. He flexes. He does all this stuff. And then gets pinned by the four-year-old girl in the front row. What has he done wrong? Score in Canada will air WWE.com live on Tuesday, April 10th at 8 p.m. The episode will also air live uh, United States, uh, in the United States on Sci-Fi. WWE uh, website 
content director Joey Styles has uh, joined in on the company's semi-frequent mockery of ring announcer Lillian Garcia as she took to Twitter to poke fun at her uh, announcing miscue at Tuesday's tap 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 down ta uh, SmackDown taping in uh, Newark. After uh, Garcia stated on the microblogging site that she would uh, perform with the band Thursday night at the Hard Rock Cafe in uh, Hollywood, California, she wrote uh, to her. He wrote to her. Tonight we'll give you your announcing uh, uh, announcing yourself at the Hard Rock Cafe as Lillian Garcia or the real Jack Swagger or Zack Ryder or John Cena. His comments was retweeted uh, by uh, Ryder. Just messing with her again. During Tuesday's show, Lily Garcia erroneously introduced Ryder as the Long Island Ice Z Jack Swagger for his match against Jack Swagger. This led to John Cena hauling out the, the ring announcer and Tony, Tony Chimmel for his post show dark match uh, since he knows you know what he's doing. And unlike uh, Garcia, uh, Cena had Chimmel properly introduce Ryder, but uh, WWE production coordinators kept cutting off his microphone in a practical joke. Cena then properly introduced Ryder himself. Well, and then about time. Wasn't that an interesting story? Are you still awake? Hey! All right. The ordeal was done by uh, WWE brass to publicly embarrass Garcia, who's been the subject of various forms of humiliation numerous times throughout her career, and she's still there, looking good. WWE.com has published an article demanding the return of the great Kali's former mouthpiece, Rajan Singh. I guess we're getting tired of hearing uh, Kali not say anything, or when he does say anything, we get tired of hearing that too. WWE.com writes that uh, the great Kali is known all over the world for his immense stature. Uh, once, uh, one time, Alf B. Ranjan Singh played a uh, giant role in uh, Punjabi Giants. Uh, you know, in uh, WWE, uh, Singh many memorable annex, in including uh, narrating the beloved Kali Kiss a uh, Kiss Can. And WWE.com thinks it's about time to bring him back. Oh, and happy birthday to Ray Jesse Gordy, 33 years old. Uh, former WWE wrestler and one time IWGP and TNA Tag Team Champion Travis Tomko, 36 years old and still in jail waiting for his trial I think it's in April or May thanks for clicking you guys uh, I'm out of here I gotta go